Well, well, well. Guess who it is? Deagle Beagle. So guess what we're going to do today? We're going to look at the usage stats and their changes from December 2022 to January 2023. Now, I basically um, took all the usage statistics from Smogon and I cropped it inside of paint. I pasted it in here so I could show a friend to team build with, but you guys can see it too. I mean, it's public information. Anyways, I'm going to show you the Pokemon that have increased and decreased and about stayed the same in usage. So, as you see, look carefully at the top. It'll say December 2022 in the URL. It'll say Gen um, Generation 9 BGC 2023 Series 1, 1630. That's the rating. I think the average rating of the battlers that it's tabulating the data um, about. I don't know exactly how that works, but I know it's in between 1760 and 1500, and then below 1500, it's at zero. I don't. I don't know. See, actually, I, maybe I shouldn't say 1630 is the average because if it is the average, then how do how do you explain the zero? Uh, unless well, maybe that is the average for the zero. I don't know. I, I it might be like a What do you call it? For, like from 1500 to 1630 There might be usage in the 1500 section and then in the 1630 section it might it might be Again, I'm just guessing on all this. It might be 1630 to 1760 and then the usage stats from 1760 on up or it might be some sort of average I'm not quite sure but regardless I think 1630 or or something probably makes the most it might make the most sense because it's like not the very top of the ladder where it's weighted more heavily by like the top players but it also includes the players that you know are are good but they're maybe not quite as great or maybe they are they just are testing a lot of different teams whatever it's just generally you're gonna have the better battlers have higher ratings and lower ratings you're gonna have worse battlers so some people could even argue maybe we should be looking at the 1500s but for the first 21 pokemon i looked at all like I looked at I think all eight of these these tiers and and I just stopped doing that because it's just like give me a headache looking at all this information trying to like average it in my head and stuff and move on so eventually what I did was I just took the 1630 ones this one from series one and then the 1631 from series two and looked at the data from there because the average from the other three in each like month aren't going to really affect the average data that much or even just the 1630 data compared to the 1630 d data on average that much and i even glanced a lot to double check on that and it was generally true generally pretty true so it should be good enough so Basically, the first, I want to say 21 Pokemon, though, it's kind of like an average like that. And then after that, I just went off of the 1630s list. So, let's get into it. And I'll say why. I'll say, actually, let me just scroll, slowly scroll and show you this whole thing. So, if you want to pause the video, you can. So I was trying to paste it where it was in order, but it starts out at 1630 and then it goes to 1500 and see it, I, I only pasted like the top 56 or 59 ish, uh, Pokemon because that's all I could fit on my screen. And I figured past that it's not used enough to really make a difference anyways, 
so see now it's the zero rating above it was the 1500 the first one I showed was 1630 and then it shows the 1760 for series one I should scroll through a little slower so in case you have to pause it and it does show by the way the total battles the average weight slash team um, I'm not sure exactly what that means but yeah we should go over this really quick usage I'm not even really looking at all this other stuff to be honest raw and percentage and real and all that I don't know but I must be just looking at the usage and the Pokemon and the rank okay so this is 1630 so this is one of the two main um, sources that I got my data from and this is all objective this is not my opinion or what I I think went down in usage based on my experience no this is like based on showdown like it objectively went down or up or about stayed the same and I make it really objective so so that it doesn't seem like biased or inaccurate 1500 data this is the the zero data even though I will say this by the way this is the 1760 I don't know why I got I think I forgot to to crop it in but I put it at the bottom and double check so yeah 1760 data and keep in mind though um, this is saying from I, as far as I know for December that goes from December 1st to December whatever it is 31st and then January to January whatever it is 31st so that's not going to include February 1st until the present that's not going to include tournament usage because that's outside of Smogon um, that's not going to include any other tier besides VGC either series 1 or series 2 2023 um, so let's get into what all these mean so the January 1760 Uses stats, yeah, it was right above this text. I should just put a try to like that so it looks like, yeah, it's not all blended in with this. So, alt, um, I should just, yeah, okay. So, alt plus 24, that's how you make the up arrow, and alt plus 25, that's how you make a down arrow. I looked all this up because I don't want to. I just wanted some quick way to, to describe it. Alt plus 26, it makes a right arrow. And I use that to show that the usage hasn't increased or decreased much. Obviously, up arrow means increased usage. Down arrow means less usage. And then you may see two arrows because I'm, I may be like kind of unsure if I should at first if I should say it went down or up or about the same but if you see both a down arrow for example like on Goldengo and a right arrow that means it did decrease in usage but it's so slight that it might be it might you could describe it as it stayed about the same but an asterisk next to the down arrow means it might be closer to the idea of it going down in usage than staying the same. And going down in usage, that's objective, but how much it goes down in usage, whether it's negligible or not, I should define that really quick. I'm going to say, looking at all of these, I'm going to say if it's not within like a few percentage of, of being the same, then it's significant so let's just say and by percentage i mean like i mean like it for example if goldango goes down from whatever it would be i don't know then just make it up a number like 28 percent to 25 percent usage that might be significant enough to have a down arrow, but if it's like 28% usage to like 27% usage, then that's maybe not even really significant. 
I mean, 20, 25 may not even be significant. That's why I would put like a, like a right arrow maybe to describe it as well. Um, so let me see. Okay, I don't think I even um, talked about it. So, having two arrows to describe a mon's change in usage. Um, means I will pick the one the one that or I will assume that the change is negligible negligible unless it varies by more than a few more than um, two percentage in usage uh, for example 28 to 25 is a three three percent drop not uh, two percent of 28 less which would be what was 28 divided by 50 or no I mean two percent of that what's two percent not 0.56 uh, percent less for example because that's what two percent of 28 is no I mean two percent of a hundred so maybe I'll just say by two percent of a hundred percent in usage so Anyways, seems like most, or did I describe all this? Yeah, seems like most mons will decrease at least slightly in usage. This is was my prediction. Seems like most mons will decrease at least slightly in usage because of the new uh, paradox mons unless they counter support them. And I'm gonna say prediction confirmed. I am taking an average of all the ratings until the 21st mon on the list and then after that just comparing the 1630 uses stats from J December and January. Now, there's only three Pokemon that aren't on the list from from December 2022 and those are Scissor, Hatterene, and Lilligant. I figure I'll just cover them now. So Scissor has seen an increase in usage and by the way with this video I'll say why I think the usage goes up or down or about stays the same with all of these Pokemon. So Scissor went up in usage I'm guessing because well, I'm, I was using Scissor in the Rose Tournament today. I think it's because Fluttermane and all these new Pokemon, they're more likely to get countered by Scissor than the Mons before. Like, you didn't have Fluttermane before, and it's good against even Rory Moon, too, and things with, like, that are... thing. The Paradox Mons are more threatening, and I think in general people are looking for priority moves to counter it, and Scissor just happens to be one of those. It's super affecting Fluttermane and other Pokemon and doing decent damage to Roaring Moon. And what are the other Paradox Pokemon? I mean, huh, why did I type in Paradox? Quark Drive. Um, it's, I mean, you have Pokemon like Iron Bundle that are so fast that people might just want to use bullet punch versus it and then protosyn like like the meta game's a lot speedier than it used to be it seemed like i don't remember there being like all this icy wind 
and Tailwind or Hard Trick Room, but that's becoming more of the norm now. So Protosynthesis, Bullet Punch is mostly though for Fluttermane, but since Fluttermane's like one of the highest used Pokemon, that's like a big reason why they're scissor and then there's also like a lot of other pokemons you can see were effect with it like sylveon so i think people some people like not a lot of people use scissor but it only having one weakness i think is a big reason uh why people like thought it was underrated or whatever and and it just countering fluttermane and then hatterene it went up in usage i think because a lot of these Pokemon went up in usage because they saw it do well in a tournament, like a big tournament like Liverpool or San Diego, because this was used in Liverpool and it got second. And I th I've been saying for a long time, people are sleeping on Hatterene because Hard Trick Room is a lot better than people think it is. And it's really hard to stop. And I was doing well. I won with a tournament with it. And other people have done really well with Hard Trick Room. So Hatterene, though... Like outside of hard trick room, it's not really that useful. So I see, I can see why it wasn't used that much, which is understandable, but it's still underrated, especially on a hard trick room team or just a trick room team. So then also Lilligant obviously would go up because people were trying to use Sun with Protosynthesis and they figure, oh, might as well use Lilligant. And Lilligant is one of the only Pokemon that outspeeds these really speedy like cork drive or or whatever pokemon with booster energy so so people are like oh i'll just use lilligan and they were using that in series zero a lot too so i think they just carried it over and we're testing out the stuff they were testing out before series one so that explains that even though i think we all found out later that sun is actually not that good because the enemy probably has a mon with protosynthesis or very likely so you might be helping them as much as you're helping your own team and they might have fire Pokemon or whatever I kind of found that out today that I shouldn't have picked Pelipper because because Palafin gets a boost from it or other water types okay let's go to the usage though and then later I'll show it in alphabetical order if you want access to these docs let me know hit um contact me on my discord and I'll send it to you or I'll just post it in the discord and you can see it but if you can't find it then let me know okay Meow Scarada so as predicted that went way down in usage well actually I didn't think it would go down that much in usage and unless well I knew it went down a lot like that much in usage but I didn't think it would go quite down that much I guess people just realized it didn't outspeed that much anymore because the metagame used to be like the fastest Pokemon was like a Talonflame or a or even usually it was like a Meowscarada because Kilowattrel wasn't used that much and then once there were all these Pokemon that outsped Meowth I think people just gave up on it because they liked outspeeding everything. That was a big point of picking Meowth on the team. So I believe people overreacted to it though and just gave up on it once they were getting outsped. But nonetheless, its usage understandably went down. So most of these usage changes. I agree with like them changing like people realize they're not dumb they know that if something's not working they're gonna try to change it not use it anymore so Goldango that went slightly down in usage I think because well because in series 2 they probably wanted to test out all these paradox Pokemon but it barely went down uh, so that didn't change that significant I think it mostly just went down because everyone was trying to test out the paradox Pokemon so that's why you see a general trend of Pokemon going down in usage and also there might be certain threats that are new to it so but I think it was mostly just because they thought maybe it was very it was slightly overrated and 
maybe and what else and then yeah just using the proto synthesis or quark drive pokemon and then ape went down in usage not a lot but like sig like when i'm saying not a lot i mean like not less than half but like it can still go down with these down arrows by a lot just not like not less than half so it could go down by like by 90 percent and not be less than half usage of what it used to be so ape is not that it's I forget exactly how much it's gone down, but I want to say about 50% since, like, the start of season, like, near season one, I, I should say, from to season two. So, Amoongus has gone up in usage. So, the Pokemon that have gone up in usage, they probably, people have probably more increasingly realized that either it's good against the, met, the new metagame, or they just were underrating it for a while or they they finally figured out how to use it because they saw certain teams with it or or whatever i don't know but amoongus is a really good pokemon so it's understandable why that would go up a little bit and then hydreigon hydreigon went way down in usage because probably because people were going to use like Roaring Moon or something instead which had the same typing and Hydreigon I think they they realized more and more that like it has a bad defensive typing and you could just use Roaring Moon instead it doesn't have Dracometer but it has like acrobatics and whatnot so that's that probably explains the main reason why I went down to use it and the fairy Pokemon are more threatening and more common like Fluttermane so Mousehold Mousehold went down in usage, um, probably partly because it goes along with Ape, and Ape went down in usage, but but mostly, I don't know exactly why it went down in usage, but I'm just guessing because, like, Ape, Mousehold used to, used to outspeed more things, but with the Paradox Pokemon being potentially more offensive and speedy, I think people just like even me I gave up on mouse ape because I was getting outsped too much even though I might try it out again and use protect with mouse hold I don't think I used protect last time but if you don't use protect they can just slam mouse hold and kind of ignore anahalate and do that or or even not they could just use like a dazzling gleam and then like force you to terra fire and then use a ground move after that so I don't know it's still good but it's probably not quite as good as it used to be because I think the main reason why I went down is because people actually know how to counter mousehold ape now and they actually counter it so the next one Murkrow Murkrow went way down in usage you would think it wouldn't really change because I was using it with like protosynthesis great tusk and stuff with sunny day to block its water weakness and to give it a boost but that would just boost the opponent it's like murkrow is mostly just good with with goldango because of the haze but haze doesn't really help almost any other pokemon besides like being good against them statting up with um something or dondozo so i think most people if they're going to use tailwind they used another tailwinder or they use talon flame because it also gets a priority tailwind and it's more offensive so that's why you see like more increased talent flame usage compared to before because of all that and it did really well in the tournament and then guard chomp went way down in usage i think mostly because people are trying out great tusk instead and guard chomp does not have headlong rush so headlong rush i was like talking smack about great tusk but actually great tusk it having headlong rush in tandem with earthquake makes it really hard to counter because as a really strong single attack and then it also has a spread move a strong spread move and you can outspeed a lot with it i was just saying like if you're trying to win a tailwind war then, then Garchomp might be better because it's faster and outspeeds Arcanine before the Wisp. But if you 
are using Tusk differently to just outspeed the slower Pokemon and use something else for the faster Pokemon, then it could work. So, also, Garchomp's weak to Fairy and Fluttermane is very common. Okay, so Sylveon, that went way down. It actually. Yeah, it did kind of go way down in usage, but not like way down. I still see it a lot, but you used to see it on almost every team with like throat spray, it seemed like, but now you don't. It's used like half of the time, but that's still a lot of the time. It's used, it feels like it's not that much less usage though. I think because in tournaments, people still use it a lot, but even just going by showdown usage stats, it seems seems maybe about right. Okay, Don Dozo, that has gone down in usage, I think, because of all this Parish Song and people realizing they need a Don Dozo counter, etc., knowing how to counter it. And then, of course, Tatsugiri is going to have very similar usage to Don Dozo. And then Armor Rouge, I would say it is almost exactly the same usage as before maybe it went slightly down but like i said if something went very slightly down you can just chalk that up to the paradox pokemon being used and then that's going to naturally lower the use of stats of everything else a little bit compared to what it would have been most likely um, but it might be a little bit more complicated than stating it like that so and DD Armor Rouge, I think people are catching on to like how good it was, but then people are also catching on how to counter it. So that's why the usage stats probably stayed about the same. And then King Ambit, that is still pretty good. But the usage stayed about the same because probably because it's four times weak to fighting and you're kind of forced to terror stall a lot of times to keep it alive but with the increased arcanine and intimidate usage it just made people want to use king ambit maybe even more okay so the next one is grim snarl so grim snarl went down in usage i'm guessing because of the flutter main is probably the main reason flutter main and then i don't know actually because meow scarada went down in usage so you would think grim snarl would go up in usage but i think it's mostly the flutter main just specs shredding it or life orb whatever even not life orb and then people just not wanting to use a screens team anymore because they were using the protosynthesis mons and and they may not be the most ideal for a screens team. So that could explain all of that. And DDF, that stayed about the same in usage. People don't typically use DD unless they use it with Armor Rouge. For some reason, they think they have to use Armor Rouge with it if they use it at all. And that's not really true. But there is that perception. So... It stayed it stay pretty much the same usage, just like Armor Rouge did. Even though it... Well, I guess it is maybe... It seems like it's, it's really underestimated, though. It's like one of the best Pokemon in the game because it counters so much. So I expect it to go even... I don't know if it's going to go up in usage because most people associate it with Armor Rouge. And Armor Rouge is probably going to go down in usage because everyone's trying to counter it but indeedy might still be about the same used because it just counters so many things like like um beat up strategies or some other strategy random strategy target your ally strategy so the next one is arcanine arcanine definitely went up in usage especially for tournaments it goes like way up in usage so Arcanine going up is probably mostly because people didn't need like the other Intimidators anymore because Lycanroc Tar usage went down. So they're like, 
oh, I don't need Tauros water or Tauros fire or whatever anymore. And Tauros fire also, at least for me, I used it for double kick. And when Meowth Scarada went down in usage, then there was like no point in using it because you could just use Arcanine instead. And like Tauros fire was just like, it, it was good for a strong fighting move, but like, I think the meta was changing to where there was more fair there's more fairy moves now with Fluttermane. So Arcanine just seemed like the better pick defensively. And Snarl we were finding was very useful. And then Volcarona. Volcarona stayed about the same. Cause it probably is about the same good against the meta, the current meta. It might uh hard to say if it's better or not. I'd say it's about the same. Because Bug's always been great versus the meta, like Ndidi Armourouge or whatever. Or just anything weak to Bug, or even not weak to Bug, you could use a Fire Move with it or Rage Powder. So, I think it just makes sense that it stayed about the same usage because there's probably not a lot more counters to it. And it does counter, like, or at least it does not have significantly worse typing it probably might even have about the same yeah it probably has about the same typing because it, it resists fairy and stuff and then azumarill that went way down in usage because i don't know i think because for some reason people weren't using like a parish song type of team with it people usually though with azumarill actually didn't use parish song with it unless they're using parish trap they usually would just use like like a salt vest and I think they were just finding that there's other Pokemon that could do that type of stuff maybe better like a Palafin but to me Azumarill's always its niche has always mostly been Parish Song and not like just a generally good Pokemon with with liquidation and play rough even though it, it has been a pretty good Pokemon in general but like it did have good defensive typing in series one but in series two it doesn't have as good uh, defensive typing it still has good typing but like it just seems like i don't know it just dies easier because azumarill ha has a lot of good resist though at least in series one it had a lot of good resist to what the meta was and then dragonite that went down in usage Probably because of all the fairy moves and Fluttermane being immune to extreme speed and whatnot. So, also being outclassed by like, not outclassed, but like people trying out the other paradoxes too. The paradoxes. So, Tyranitar, that went down in usage. Uh, I think Lycanroc Tar went a little bit too down in usage. People probably underrated a little bit or at least they didn't realize how good tar would be i think they just saw a lot of will o -Wes and intimidate and they just kind of stayed away from it but but to me like i mean arcanine's weak to rock and you can even use something cheeky like rock blast with loaded dice or something and terrifier so i mean tyranitar it's good on teams without Lycanroc, and I think a lot of people didn't understand that. And Ty and Tyranitar's, I'm sure, gonna gonna stay about the same or go up in usage because it's one of the the best Pokemon in the game. Like it just has crazy special defense, and the game's very special right now. So I expect Tyranitar to go up in usage, even though the trend was down. I think from the recent tournaments, like in Orlando or other places, it just it just is a great Pokemon. And then Pelipper. That went down in usage probably because people didn't want to boost up the enemy's water moves anymore. Like, accident, not accidentally, but uh, as a negative externality, like boosting their water moves. And But I think mostly it was due to Freeze Dry from Iron Bundle. Because Iron Bundle was the main change from series one to series two against Pelipper and the protosynthesis mons or quark drive mons can can have booster energy so the whole idea of swift swim or chlorophyll and all that that may be good but even with like swift swim you might not be able to outspeed something so 
it's like what would you use with um, Pelipper? Uh, let me look at the let's look at the Swift Swarmers really quick. For some reason, I'm blinking out. Yeah, Dreadnought. That's like kind of slow because it's it's just like look how slow it is, and then like a booster energy like. Flutter main or iron bundle could outspeed this even if you max out the speed on this and there's like no other good swift swimmers that I can think of maybe like float soul could outspeed something but then it's just a single target move and it's fragile so it's like yeah I mean Pelipper I think people just realized uh, wasn't quite as good as it used to be and then Skeledurge, that's almost non-existent now. I think people just thought it got countered by all the new like Paradox Pokemon like Fluttermane, Shadow Ball, or Throat Chop from uh, Roaring Moon or something. And it wasn't faster than a lot of the metagame anymore because the metagame was like all really fast now. That's why... I might just want to use a hard trick room team again or like a really fast tailwind team. And then Talonflame, that went, that's about the same in usage as it used to be. It's going to go up in usage though because it did really well in Orlando and it's it was really kind of underrated. I think the top Pokemon to me are like Talonflame, Tyranitar, Indeedee, and then what am I blinking out on? Fluttermane. Yeah, those are probably the top four in my book. And other ones might be really good too. I would have to test them more, but those are probably the best Pokemon to me. And then Iron Bundle and a few others are really good too. So then um, the next one, at least how I play, Torkoal. Torkoal. That Pokemon went up in usage because of all the Protosynthesis, but in reality, I think soon after January like a lot of people stopped using it because they got tired of boosting the opponent and they weren't wanting to use like Lilligant anymore okay the next one Dragapult that one way down in usage because it still outspeeds Iron Bundle and you would think it would still be used but like the fact that it's weak to Iron Bundle and weak to to flutter main and all these pokemon it's just kind of fragile and it doesn't what it wasn't one shotting enough like at least iron bundle was using sash a lot and you have to use a special one to outspeed uh, flutter main and you can't one shot if they terror like fairy or whatever so a lot of people i think just understandably dropped it even though I in series one specs with Dracometer was really good with Terra Dragon, but just the icy wind spam and the sashes and the whatnot just really screwed it over maybe, but I don't know. I just tested and it wasn't that good. <laughs> just the, the huge meta shift. Okay, Bax Caliber went down a little bit in usage, so. People, I want to say, looked at San Diego and did see a Bax Caliber, and it was good, but I think a lot of people are realizing that loaded dice only working 50% of the time to hit five times is not that great sometimes because you may hit, need to hit them five times for it to be worth it, and it's like a 50% chance. And Bax Caliber being super affected by fairy moves now. In series two, like Fluttermane, it just wasn't quite as good anymore. Even though there was a lot of Sylveon in series one, but it could outspeed that and ice attack it, but it can't really outspeed a Fluttermane. And then Rotom Wash, that went down to usage probably because, not just because people got tired of it missing, but it didn't outspeed nearly as much in the metagame that it used to. And it didn't necessarily counter as many Pokemon, like Roaring Moon, for example, would wall both of its attacks. Or Pokemon just had more special defense, maybe like a Fluttermane. And then Palmot, that went down in usage because a lot of people realized it wasn't very good unless, in general, unless you use it for like 
a revival blessing with a Don Dozo team. That's probably the only team where it's worth using, as far as I know, but I could be wrong. So, a lot of people finally, I think, realized that, but they were kind of testing it out, and they eventually realized it wasn't that good on most teams. And then Harry Yama, I'm actually surprised the usage was that much, even in Series 1. It is, pr It was pretty good, though. I mean, I did use it some f with, like, Flame Orb and Fake Out for Trick Room teams and whatnot. So, I guess it was one of the best Trick Room powerhouses and support mons with Fake Out. So, it went way down in usage, understandably, because people kind of swapped it out for Iron Hands. And Iron Hands was like extremely popular in the start of the season. And then for Rig Giraffe, that went up because Iron Hands usage went up. And they know that the two work really well together. Because everyone knew from the start of the season, Hariyama for Rig was going to be used a lot. So they just, yeah, swapped it out. And then Palafin, that's been going up in usage, I think, since San Diego people like even me i i didn't even know until very recently that palafin's actually a good pokemon i didn't know because i was so used to using like indeedy that no one ever picked it and when they did their jet punch was blocked by psychic train and i usually had speed control so they couldn't really wave crash me necessarily but the teams now are like generally in series two they're more weak to water and that's why people are bringing gastrodon all of a sudden because even though there's like there's there's more water moves and people are more weak to water so like iron bundle uses hydro pump palafin's more common etc that's probably mostly why palafin's been going up in usage is because of how weak the metagame is to water now and they can just jet punch because arcanine great tusk and all these other pokemon are pretty common now so the next one Tauros water that went down because because people mostly didn't like the freeze dry and fairy weakness i think is why they mostly don't use it they replaced it with arcanine for the most part and then lichen rock they mostly changed or they mostly stopped using lichen rock because they they were just facing too much like Tauros with intimidate or wide guard prediction wars or whatever so I think they mostly just stop using Lycan Rock even though it might be a little bit underrated yeah, or they got tired of missing Rock Slide like I did and then Garganical that went way up in usage because people saw how good it was it was winning tournaments and the metagame was pretty weak to it and I mean they saw it in San Diego win a whole tournament so I think that explains why it went up and then Gothitel, that's always been pretty good with Shadow Tag, but people are, are realizing more. There's more ways to use it, use Shadow Tag with some ally now that there's the paradoxes allowed, so you can manipulate the board position like Wolfie did with Screamtail and Parish Song, whatever, or other things. So, yeah, Mimic You its usage went up oh yeah did i say gothitelle stayed about the same in usage okay mimikyu went up in usage probably because it might have it might counter the metagame more in series two like flutter main and roaring moon and whatnot having disguise to protect you against one hit and then like shadow clawing a flutter main or play roughing a, a, a roaring moon and then gyarados that went way down in usage probably because mostly because of the freeze dry they just made it like four times a week to freeze dry. So, like, people weren't even using freeze dry for the most part. Only, like, very rarely with Cryogonal until there was, like, Iron Bundle. Then there's freeze dry everywhere. And then Kilo Watch Roll. Kilo Watch Roll. That went way down to usage because it didn't outspeed that much anymore compared to the Paradox Pokemon. And it was rather kind of weak. I did use it with competitive because I got tired of all the Arcanine spam. But it wasn't that powerful outside of a boost. So I had to drop it. And then Rodham H. That Pokemon's pretty underrated, I think. But people probably just wanted to swap it out for like a Paradox Pokemon 
like Iron Moth or something as a fire Pokemon. But there were some people that still used Rodham H. I don't know all the reasons why they took it out. But they probably don't like the fact that Overheat makes their special attack half. And, and, and it probably also because it didn't outspeed a lot of the Mons that it used to outspeed in the slower metagame in Series 1. And then Gengar, that went down because it's similar to Fluttermane. Its main niche is, <clears throat> excuse me, is Haze and having a poison move. But people could just use Haze with another Pokemon and they don't need a poison move that bad normally. So Gengar understandably went way down in usage. And then Gallade went uh, way down in usage because, yes, Sharpness is really good, but it getting outsped a lot by the new paradoxes and people realizing that they could just use armor rouge which has the expanding force so the better psychic attack normally unless they have a lot of dark types or something they just opted for armor rouge normally instead and then other like don dozo or whatever counters and breloom that went down in usage it's still pretty good but it doesn't outspeed nearly as much as it used to so that's probably the main reason why it went down in usage especially since you can they were testing like brute bonnet instead or amongus and they know is better it seems like more people know how to use Among amongus now and then seru ledge that pokemon stayed about the save in usage because it's still useful against like fire moves and whatnot but it's just it's not like any better against the paradoxes than it used to be so it is good against like iron moth and stuff but then other pokemon like fluttermane could shadow ball it and force it to terra but it might survive and with a sash or whatever and hit back with shadow claw i don't know so fairy ledge this wasn't it wasn't a huge change in the usage prob probably because it's not much worse or better than it used to be and then gardevoir went way down in usage i don't know the whole reason behind that but what type is it a fairy psychic type probably because it kept getting shadow balled by fluttermane or outsped by something like booster energy roaring moon and acrobatics if it even though it's weak to fairy i mean i think just because the scarf one wasn't out speeding enough anymore was probably the main reason and they could just use flutter main instead of gardevoir for a fast fairy mon and then salamance salamance went way down in usage Probably because Flutter Main and Iron Bundle super affected, and those are really common all of a sudden. So, Salamence is not nearly as good as it used to be. Gastrodon, you would think it would go down because of Freeze Dry, but actually it went up because people were trying to counter Hydro Pump. And I think they didn't really realize that. It can just freeze dry you on the switch in, but you could lead with it in counter iron bundle, or people are just trying to use it to counter the increasing trend of people using water Pokemon like Palafin. So that probably explains it. And it all and also ground is good against the meta in general and has earth power against like iron hands and whatnot. So it's probably why it went up in usage. And it did well in some tournaments. And Dreadnought. That went down because, probably mostly because the metagame's a lot faster now with like, it just seems like there's more Tailwind, maybe there's not, but there's just like more speedy Pokemon like Booster Energy, Speed Raising Mons and whatnot, and Dreadnought wasn't out speeding enough anymore. So people probably dropped it for that reason. And then Orangaroo went way down in usage, probably mostly because People were testing it out at first in December and realizing eh, having two moves that do the same thing don't have very good coverage. So like if you use it with the Ranguru, then they'll just use Flash Fire and you can't do that much. So people, I think, realized stuff like that and they just dropped it. 
and then Obama snow that stayed about the same in usage probably because people are using it with iron bundle for blizzard otherwise it probably would have gone down significantly in usage and then Toro's fire I'm actually surprised that it didn't go down by more because I didn't see it almost at all in tournaments I think because they just saw Toros from the the San Diego regionals and were trying it and it took them a while to eventually drop it for like Arcanine or whatever to realize the metagame and I mean it isn't weak to fairy or anything so there's like no glaring reason why they would immediately want to drop it like the other ones and then Sableye that stayed about the same in usage or slightly decreased so that Pokemon well I'm trying to think of why that could be I know it has less weaknesses than Grim Snarl, but I think the main reason why it stayed about the same in usage is because people are using all this like manual sunny day or rain dance with it or whatever they were doing with it with like a the protosynthesis monitor to counter like other people's teams that were using like sunny day or torque or, or whatever so I think that was mostly why and then Tinkaton went down in usage because probably because people realized it wasn't actually that good it missing play rough and only being able to gigaton hammer once every other turn was predictable and and not that good and it didn't have that high of attack so you might have needed like life orb or something on it and then glamora that went up in usage probably because it was seen in san diego and people also know that it's good for strategies with Dondozo or Garganacle, so they just like started using it a little bit more. And then Salazzle, I'm actually surprised that Salaz Salazzle was said to be used um, a lot more in Series 1 than Series 2 because I don't remember it almost at all in Series 1, but maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Because I know it was used a little bit, but if anything why it went down it's probably because it doesn't outspeed everything anymore and it's just I don't know it just gets outclassed maybe in speed and power by by a like paradox Pokemon but it does have fake out and it, that's a good niche a really fast fake out so anyways what's the next one Quaqua ball that Pokemon was probably never that good to begin with, but people, I think, tested it out because it had that Aqua Step, like, move that, I think, raised its speed, and they're using it with, like, Moxie to raise its attack once they knock something out, and it was used a little bit in San Diego, but I think people realized it's kind of fragile and not that good. And then Corviknight, that Pokemon went up in usage I think because Alberto Lara used it in San Diego but then also other people were using it like 45 miles because they realized they could use it on the screens team and screens did kind of counter the metagame more once Meow Scarada wasn't used that much anymore and people stopped using like Focus Energy, Hydreigon and whatnot. So then all of a sudden people started using screens again eventually in uh, late January so that probably explains why Corviknight's used because without screens Corviknight's not that bulky so screens kind of changes that and people probably wanted to test it out against again once they saw Alberto Lara uh, use it so let's go over the new paradoxes Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, Roaring Moon, Great Tusk, Iron Jugulus, Iron Valiant Iron Hands, Iron Treads, Iron Moth, Iron Thorns, Brute Bonnet, Sandy Shocks, Screamtail, Slitherwing. So again, the Pokemon that that moved up significantly in usage that were not used very much in Series 1 are Scissor, Hatterene, and Lilligant. And I already went over why. And I'll just show you the alphabetical order of all these Pokemon. The same, uh, basically copy and pasted from this, it's just... 
I sort it in alphabetical order so you can whatever print it out co copy it whatever there should be 59 Pokemon yeah so I figured below about 50 something Pokemon I don't think I need to list anything more than that because they're not used enough to be that big of a threat I mean that often of a threat to your team even though like I'm gonna say again this is just February er, sorry this doesn't include February data and it doesn't include tournament data so results may vary but I think you'll see in tournaments nowadays you'll see it be somewhat relevant somewhat close to the showdown what you see on showdown but you might see it slightly different I mean just random variants could happen so it's hard to say if the use of stats will be about the same but if anything a change will likely happen because they're trying to counter what is like an emerging threat so if it, if if everyone in every single tournament keeps using Arcanine then people like me are going to start using competitive Kilowattrel or competitive Gothitelle or if people keep using Iron Bundle then yeah people might use the same things or um, if people keep using like a certain Pokemon people will will try to counter it so the metagame will keep adjusting and stuff as time goes on but I think the metagame will pretty much stay very similar to what it is now there's no real reason that I know of, of why anything would change that much except I'm gonna type in some things I expect to change I think Don Dozo is gonna change uh, Mons I expect to uh, decrease in usage so I'm gonna say Don Dozo uh, Tatsugiri of course because it goes along with it uh, because of all the Parish song and uh, now I'm just gonna say counters in general Hayes Parish song yeah I'll just type it out hey uh, Hayes etc so then are there any other Pokemon that might decrease in usage let's see Because the ones that have de that have decreased in usage, I mean, there's a Pokemon that aren't that good, but they've already decreased in, in usage is what I mean, like Hydreigon. Um, I think Pokemon that are going to increase in usage, I'll, no, I'll, I'll talk about that later. I just got to go over the ones that will decrease that aren't already decreasing that much. Okay, so... Grim Snarl might even I'm trying to think. Grim Snarl might even decrease further in usage because I don't know, just a lot of things counter it. Grim I just felt like I, I it's good, but it's um more flutter main and just counters in general. Uh more screen breaking moves i found uh, or teams that counter it like mouse eight can't that mouse eight beats the reflect it's so powerful people are starting to use it again i don't know even though mouse ape has gone down it seems like it's gone down but like in february i think it's gone back up so i'm talking about like post this post uh january so What's another one? Armor Rouge is probably going to go down in usage. Well, maybe not because people might use it on Hard Tricker with Covert Cloak. So maybe not. If they use Covert Cloak, then it's going to go down in usage. I'm just going to type this this out. Arma if it is not Covert Cloak because Snarl kind of counters it and it can wide guard but then you can't attack with it the same turn you wide guard so then the next one King Ambit mm, 
it's probably going to keep going down a little bit but or stay about the same but i think it'll slightly decrease very slightly because of all the low kick and stuff let's go to the next one in ddf that's probably going to stay about the same arcanine's probably going to stay roughly the same now volcarona that is probably going to stay the same azumarill is going to probably stay at a low usage rate uh, dragonite that I don't think that's going to change that much um, Tyranitar is probably going to go up in usage Skeletor is going to keep going down Pelipper is probably going to go down even further well maybe not well maybe not with Palafin with Sash it's yeah I mean it's already decreasing I'll just leave that as it is and then Torkoal Torkoal, since it went up, I'm going to just say it's going to go down. Torkoal, um, Sun boosts their protosynthesis as well. And then scroll back up. Dragapult is going to keep going down because it just gets countered by like Iron Bundle and other things, especially if they're Sash, Fluttermane. Okay, Bags Caliber. I think it's. I don't know. Bags Caliber might have a niche because somebody won a tournament with it recently, but it being weak to like Fluttermane and stuff, I don't know. It's already going down. I'm probably going to leave it like that. And then Rod of Wash is not used that much to begin with. Palmot. If anything, Palmot. Yeah, it'll keep going down, but if anything, on Don does the teams, I think Palmot will go up to counter the, the Haze and the Parish Song more. Like, if you take them out, at least with Parish Song, if you take them out, you can revive them again. So, Hariyama, that's going to keep going down, but it's already gone down so much. It's not going to go down more significantly, and then Palafin's going to go up. Taurus Waters. Let me just look at a Pokemon that uh, I can tell it's going to go down. Like Garganical, uh, Covert Cloak is very common now. Everyone's trying to counter Garganical. Wasn't it? Wasn't not everyone was trying to counter Garganical at first. That they realize how good it could be after San Diego. And then Gothitelle. That is gonna... The usage might even go up for Gothitelle. I don't know. Or about to stay the same. And then Mimikyu. Usage is gonna be about the same. Uh, Gyarados. It's gonna keep going down. Rodham H. That usage might actually go up. Gengar's usage might go... Or be about the same. Same with Gallade and Breloom. Seru Ledge. No reason for it to increase in usage. It's probably going to be about the same. Gardevoir is going to keep going down. Same with Salamence. Gastrodon. Hard to say with Gastrodon. It might even go up in usage if people figure out how to counter. How to use it right to counter Iron Bundle and Palafin. But... A lot of people will give up on it because they can't just switch it in whenever they want because they could get freeze dried. So that usage is probably overall going to stay about the same. And then Dreadnought's going to keep going down in usage. Orangaroo is going to go down in usage still. And then Obama Snow is going to probably keep going down in usage because Blizzard Bundle wasn't quite as good as people thought it would be. And then. It was pretty good, but not good enough. And then Tortles Fire is going to go down because... Wait, where is Tortles Fire? Alright, it's already gone. Yeah. Tortles Fire. Um, usually Arcanine outclasses it now by resisting Fairy and having snarl which is better against the meta and no need for double kick 
anymore uh, could, uh, because Meow, Scarada, and Lycanroc are less common. Okay. And then Tauros Water. It already was going down, so I figure I'll just leave that uh, how it is. Sableye is. It's already kind of going down, so I'll just leave it, even though I might want to put it. It might go down even further. Tinkaton is probably going to keep going down because there's. I don't think it will ever counter the current meta, like the changing meta, that much better. And then Glamora. Glamora. That's probably going to be about the same in usage. I don't see any, because it's mostly used for stalling with Dondoza and Garganko. I don't see it changing that much. Salazzle's going to go down in usage like it was. Qua Qua Vol, that's going to keep going way down in usage. Corviknight's probably going to go slightly down in usage because people are countering screens and stuff more now and it's not as good as it as people thought it was more uh, screens counters um, screens are used to make it bulkier especially or on all around I'm just gonna say all around so mons I expect to increase in usage Gotta go through this whole list again. I think Meow Scarada is gonna increase because it. I think it was just everyone gave up on it too soon. Um, I do think. Let's see, Ape might. Eh, Ape's probably gonna be about the same. I don't know if it if it'll really go up. Maybe. Um. Maybe we'll see, but. I don't think it's going to go up by that much if it does go up. And then Hydreigon, no, that's not going to go up. Well, first, let me just type it in. It is good even if it doesn't outspeed everything. Flower trick is still a great niche and then where were we Murkrow Garchomp Garchomp's gonna go up and use I'm gonna just say mouse hold and eight though mouse hold um, it's good for supporting uh, paradox or other mons like ape that could slightly rise ape um, the metagame is more arcanine and I should just say more intimidate snarl and icy wind dependent now and then who else oh yeah Garchomp Garchomp, Great Tusk, um, took the spotlight because it is a new Paradox Mon and is similar but is slower than RK9 unlike Garchomp. So that's probably Garchomp's main niche is being faster than then Arcanine, just being faster in general than Great Tusk. And then Sylveon, that'll probably... I don't know if that would go up in usage. It is pretty good. It might go slightly up in usage though, because I've been doing really well with Sylveon, except there's a lot of Goldango and stuff, so it probably won't go up by much if, all, if at all. Yeah, it's probably actually going to stay about the same. And then Dondoza down, down Tetsugiri. And Armor Rouge down are the same. And then King Ambit about the same. Grimmsnarl is going to go down. 
the DDF, it might increase because there's all the jet punch and whatnot. Yeah, I think I, even with, yeah, I think it might slightly increase in DDF. So more priority moves now, like jet punch that were n not as common before. Before whatever abbreviation. Uh, even on, um, also I'm going to put people, people realize it is good even without armor rouge. Because remember I used it without armor rouge for just in prison trick room or whatever. In prison trick room for example. And then next one arcanine is probably going to be stay about the same volcarona it probably is going to stay about the same for a uh, redirector and whatnot azumarill might go a little bit up in usage um uh, maybe not i mean azumarill it's just good for a slow pair song and back um pair song uh, our people are realizing a pair song in back might be useful. A, I should say a slow pair songer in back might be useful. But I don't expect it to go up by that much. Very much. Okay, Dragonite. Now nah, it's still going to be weak to Fluttermane. Tyranitar is going to go probably a little bit up in usage because people re are realizing how good it is. For uh, getting rid of sashes and chipping away at them and it has massive special defense and controls the weather and counters in DD armor rouge okay now Pelipper not going to increase that if if much at all skeleton dirge i don't think there's any reason for it to increase talon flame is probably going to increase in usage because everyone's uh, like a lot of people are just going to use tailwind teams talon flame uh, people re uh, realize how good tailwind teams are now that they did really well in orlando and where the heck is Talon? Oh, Torkoal, that's going to decrease. Drag pull decrease, back Talibur probably keep decreasing. Bottom wash decrease, Palma's going to de decrease or stay the same. Hariyama, um, eh, it might increase slightly. Increase as people realize that Iron Hands isn't always better. For example, for hard trick room, pure, uh, I should say, power and blocking spore with the flame orb. And then Berg giraffe, that's probably going to be about the same. Palafin's going to go up. It already is going up. Its trend is already going up, or way up, in February. And Jet Punch counters the metagame. And uh, Tailwind or Trick Room teams people finally realize it is good now especially in the current meta okay the next one Tauros water now that's going to keep going down because people are just going to use Arcanine Lycanroc might go slightly up because people 
uh, people realize how good it is with tar versus iron bundle and other booster energy um, mons and um, they know tar is good and then Garganacle. Now that's going to go down from the Covert Cloak. And then Gothitelle, about the same. Mimikyu, about the same. Gyarados, it's going to keep going down. Kilowatch is going to... Uh, it might slightly go back up in usage. I'm going to say... Uh, goth. Uh, competitive Goth. Um, a lot of Arcanines. But it's not going to go up by that much. Kila Watchful. It's going to maybe very slightly go up a lot of Arcanines. Um, okay. And then bottom H. It might be about the same actually, but I'll just put it in there anyways. Uh, Rodham H, I think, is actually not bad at all. I think that's going to increase. People realize that Iron Moth isn't as good as it was thought to be. Because Iron Moth, just the Covert Cloak blocking the Acid Spray and it being four times weak to ground and whatnot. And Tailwind Teams or Booster Energy outspeeding it. Excuse me. Where was I? Rodham H. Oh, Gengar. Ah, that's going to keep going down along with Glade, Breloom. Uh, Serial Ledge about the same. Gardevoir is going to keep going down. Selenus down. Gastrodon. It's already going way up. I don't think it's going to really... It's not going to go down or up by that much because the reasons I said earlier but it might go slightly up I think it might go slightly up actually are figuring out how to use it to counter iron bundle lead versus it so you don't switch into freeze dry and palafin usage is rising. Okay. Now, Dreadnought, that's going to keep going down along with the Ranguru, Obama Snow, Tauros Fire, Sableye is going to be about the same or even go down. Tinkaton's going to go down. Gamora is going to be about the same. Uh, Salazzle is going to keep going down. And Quaqua, Bell, Ball, and Corviknight. So I think it's mostly these fi these 15 mons that are going to increase and then the mons that are going to decrease see there's more mons that are going to increase and decrease because i think mostly because the the decreases have already already like they've already happened as a result to the metagame but as the metagame changes then you see a lot of new pokemon out of the blue to counter the current metagame so i think you're going to see a lot more of this in the list some of them barely more than the current like Azumarill, Goth, and Kilowattle with those two with competitive, but you will see more of it than you used to. So, thanks for watching uh, this really long video. I hope that covered like everything. Stay tuned for the next one.